This playthrough is rated E for everyone. There are two type of knights that, that wear the black. Those from Fire Emblem and those from Monty Python. Which one will we deal with? Greetings and salutations, viewers. Juan are back here with another episode of Ogre Battle, the March of the Black Queen. In the last episode, we cleaned out the slums of Zenobia and, uh, and were able to tear down the walls with some termites. Apparently, termites can tear down walls? I mean, they can't go through stone, though, right? Ah, whatever, magic. Anyway, we're back here just to check out all the towns before we head on to the next location. So I want to do something a little bit faster by just having everyone ready to go. I won't, uh, I'll just reset to an old save so that way I'm not wasting the money by summoning all these people and I'll just get the stuff off screen. All I'm doing here is to gather some, a little bit of information. I'm not here to grind for anything unless you missed a town or two off screen. The only, uh, the only notable thing here is, um, Anberg. If you didn't want to hire Leon, Lion, or I guess Leon or Lion, Lion the first time you come here, because he does cost 20,000, you can wait till after the battle to hire him, uh, liberate the town and hire him, and only pay 5,000 for him. So that's a, definitely a way to save quite a bit of money. But I've got a decent amount of money, and it's not that big of a deal to me. If I wanted min-max, I would just have hired Leon after the fact. But it's not, like I said, it's not a big deal to me. So let's uh, start uh, going to towns so we can... Uh, uh, find some information so I'm just gonna have everyone move to towns at once that way we can save that way we can save the time of uh, I also did some like uh, I uh, did some more manipulation of my um, units just to uh, try to change things up a bit and try to try to start putting stuff into a specific strategy so that way I'll be you know, trying to work towards in-game stuff, even though we're still a long way off from in-game stuff. You do not believe. Yeah, this game's a decent length, and it's got quite a bit of playtime. It's definitely worth, if you got this game back in the day, you got your money's worth for it, if you like strategy games, anyway. Strategy games aren't for everyone, but, you know, some people like them, like myself. Although, the main reason I liked them is because you got a lot of uh, playtime out, out of those games. It just seemed like it was worth the more bang for your buck, you know, overall back in the day. Man, well, let's run into the towns and see what they all have to say. All people made by the gods are equals. The Empire has forgotten that and cannot be forgiven for it. You must destroy the evil ones in the name of the gods. Alright. We intend to work together to restore Zenobia to its former glory. Thanks to you, the Empire has left Zenobia. Please hurry and destroy the Empire so we can rebuild our world. Or Leon will be here if you didn't hire him yet. If you had happened to find a moon rose, the magician in this town will probably buy it from you. Yeah, it's for... I'll have to double check again, like, how much he buys it for. It's not... It's... You can initially sell it for 2500 but you can sell it for, I think, 50 grand here if you had the moon rose. Obviously, I made a mess up during my initial playthrough, and I didn't want to replay through the map to do that. Um, but the thing is, is that you can get multiple different um, numbers from it. Or no, I think it's like 5,000. And then you can uh, haggle him down for more. Uh, but if you do it too many times, he'll uh, you'll lose reputation. I even get to sell the moon rose. So your reputation will just will not necessarily go up just because you did the right thing. The right thing to do isn't necessarily what the people want. But what goes around comes around. Always do the right thing and you'll always be rewarded. That's the reason why you do good things, so you'd be rewarded. Force is required for anything you want to get done. Love, justice, <laughs> words for children. The word world can only exist through force, don't you think? Yeesh. Alright, everyone's moving. Too much at once. I was hired as a nurse in the house of Zenobia. On the day that the family was massacred, I was able to smuggle one of the children out of town. The child was King Grand's eldest son, Prince Tristan. Please find Prince Tristan for me. Only he can lead the continent after the Empire has been destroyed. Or were you planning on ruling yourself? No. I'm glad to see that your goal is in power. The prince should be on the island of Avalon. If you if you find it, please give him this. It's the key of destiny. The symbol of Zenobia. Uh, succession to the throne of Zenobia. So you you answer that question depending how you want the game. How you want the end game to work. Do you want, are you going for a low alignment enemy or well, a high alignment ending? So, we intend to work together to restore Zenobia by its former, to its former glory. Um, I believe you have to talk to this lady to unlock, or find Tristan later, so, um, 
It seems that there are even people within the Empire who aren't happy with Adora. Most of them tend to drift to the outer fringes of the Empire. I wonder if Debonair could be one of them. I heard that the Empress, Adora's first prince, the Black Air Knight Gares, is on the island of Avalon. Avalon is just a neutral territory of temples and monks. I'm afraid they come to, they come to take control of the Roshan Temple. Okay, everyone's moved, so now we can get the last two places and uh, head on to the next map. I'm trying to remember if there's anything else here other than really the nurse is that well there's another reason to come back to this map later after you get a specific item but that'll be much later the empire's gone but who will help the people who live in the slums have you thought of that of course not after all you're just a bunch of warmongers dude i saved you like you know you expect me to just hang around and do politics this is a fighting game we intend to work together to restore zenobia that's oh, okay you're just doing the same thing so yeah really the big thing here is to find the the nurse to give you a clue about Tristan, so. All right, I'm gonna go reset this really quick and I'll be right back. All right, we're back after doing that. So this is how I've adjusted things a little bit. I've moved some characters around, got rid of some of the knights I got from Ash because they're high level knights, but they aren't mid-maxed because we got them at a higher level. So I tried to put lower end or low end fighters or fighters that I've been working on in the, the fray swap some people out um i put ash here and uh gave him a couple of different enemies to give him more high fly, high sky type of units because high sky overall is a lot nicer just for movement and stuff like that i might change around a bit more now ash is probably the best of the two specialty knights you get in the whole game him and lands um if you want to there's a couple ways you could go with him obviously you could go paladin and just keep him as is and then if you get a certain item you could turn him into uh one who walks in the night if you want to, if you know what i mean um also another solid build for him is actually turning him into a doll mage and going from there uh, because of his uh, decent intelligence he could actually do a, a decent amount of damage in the back and because he has high intelligence he won't take as much damage from magic so that's a way to go and technically even though i use lance lance is technically the worst of the, the specialty knights so turning him into something else like outside of uh, a knight is probably better but i wanted to stick him as is uh, Gilbert, uh, unfortunately his alignment's too high. I actually want to eventually turn Gilbert into a ninja and turn him into a ninja master because they just have better, they just have better stat growth overall, um, because, uh, good for agility and intelligence, but unfortunately, I probably should have done that earlier with Gilbert, but it's not that important. Uh, I also put, uh, Jad here gave, I got a, I got a demon off screen so I can at least get, uh, or an imp. I got an imp so I can get, eventually get to their max class or whatever. Um, also, I turned Leon into a ninja, believe it. Uh, oh, I didn't realize I had a ninja named Leon and a lion, so I'll have to pronounce his name. Mainly because, uh, yeah, he, a, a beast master has really good strength, but the thing is, uh, it is a, like, his intelligence is not bad either. His agility is pretty good. So, but if you get him to a ninja and then turn him into a ninja master, that'll really take advantage of his strength growth. So that's why I'm turning him into Ninja. And I've already got a Beastmaster in Jad or Gilbert. I'll probably turn Gilbert. If I get his alignment a little bit lower, I might turn him into a uh, um, Ninja 2 and then turn him into a Ninja Master. Um, yeah, maneuver some of the uh, AI around a bit. I try to give myself a bit more even uh, uh, light units and dark units, low alignment. I'm going to say light and dark units in the future for alignment because that's, you know, I don't know. That's just a little annoying. Um, I also captured, uh, like, another demon off screen just to have it. I also um, got a giant on screen. I eventually want to turn this giant into um, a titan, which is their high alignment, high level class. But you have to stick him at giant for a long time. So that's why I'm leaving him there for now. Okay, I also gained a level for um, my dragon. I got just enough. I just went to program and fought, like, a uh, undead thing. With a with a healer character and got him to seven so now we can turn him into a black a dragon so and no you and unfortunately with monsters you can't go back so if you if you upgrade them then that's it you know um i could turn the dragons that i got from lion to red dragons but like i said they're not the best dragon build overall i like going black dragon than 
their max upgrade there too but you could if you want to they just haven't been min max so they won't be at peak efficiency um also uh let's see i need to get you another level to turn you into a knight um also i ended up i ended up getting a really nice item uh i did not expect this off screen i wish i'd recorded it but i ended up getting the crown that's the item that turns the uh, Amazons into princesses. Now, I had two decisions on this. I could have either turned a low-level Amazon to a princess and min-max them from the beginning, or I turn a specialty character into a princess. And I'm a really big fan of using specialty characters, even though technically they're probably not the best classes overall. There's a few, like there's one demon you can get that's really good. Uh, probably one of the, the best specialty class in the game, over like in terms of stats and everything like that. But I think I'll save it to change the specialty character overall. Uh, I also ended up getting a um, uh, Cha item, and I also ended up getting a Promote off-screen as well. Promote raises your level, so... Um, which I, I want to save that, though, for later, so... All right, way, way, with that out of the way, let's head on to the Island of Avalon. The Black Knight, Scene 8. Alright, this this uh, map has a, a lot of mountainous range, so you either want to have flyers or mountain uh, uh, walkers for this one. Um, this uh, map also has undead, so if you're worried about... Uh, so you need you should have clerics in your, in your party, at least one in each town holder. Um, if you go to the water section in this place, you can either find octopuses or mermaids. Mermaids are, despite them being a water elemental, are really good, like, if you build them up to their promoted class, are really good uh, magic users that have a really good, uh, they have a, a spell called Ice Field that hits everyone on the map, and it can do a lot of damage, even though Ice Elemental is probably the lowest used element in the game in terms of weaknesses, because it's only useful against, like, clerics and, like, uh, mountain characters, like giants, but still, uh, Mermaid has really good stat growth, like, or... Sorry, their promotion is the Ruga Sat growth and up on par with the Ninja Masters. So you might want to grab like a mermaid just to have a water water build. Like grab a couple octopuses, even though octopuses are probably the worst of the large creatures um, in the game. But I might grab a uh, grab a because I already got a couple octopuses from a previous uh, uh, from like Warren or whatever. So I might grab a mermaid or two and build them up. We'll see what happens though. Uh, also on the also on the water. Sorry, I forgot all enemy encounters on the water is an enemy called the angel They're all level 10 by the way angel itself isn't that great. It's what they upgrade into that's great I want to get a couple of those maybe not on this map Maybe off screen if I can't find them, but I don't want to do that during the fight I want to do that when I come back later. So okay. Anyway, let's uh, summon some people out Okay, let's see hold on. Let me look at my I want to capture I want to kind of capture these close towns right here, and then after the initial wave comes by, then I want to move, uh, slowly move forward. So, okay. Uh, let's see, who's good? Uh, and I might just send lands, even though. Oh yeah, the enemies here are, um, I believe eight to 10. So keep that in mind when sending out uh, enemies to fight. There's also 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. So 19 different units around here. So, okay. Uh, yeah, let's send lands. Lands here. Uh, do I want to send Warren out this time? Or now nah, I'll, uh, I'll send like Jad is. Now, the only problem with having undead is because of the cleric. So you have to be really careful about using undead on this map because there's clerics here too even though uh, they're also undead so now let's have campus go to the uh, temple here just for his high luck to hopefully uh, get someone there we'll send uh, uh actually let's send uh let's send janu because leon's in that group so all right and then i want to send oops Oops. Uh, I want to send another... I don't want to send too many people out. Let's see. You don't have... Uh, let's see. Okay, yeah. I need to send you because you're a cleric. Alright. Sorry, what's the... Am I on the sound mid? Okay, that's... 
I'll just have you capture the. Oops. I'll just have you capture the town. And then put an undead there, or undead. Sorry. Un uh, now let's put you guys there to help out. All right, we'll eventually start. Uh, oh yeah, nah, who wants to be my cleanup? Um, let's do. I guess Reprie, because she's probably got low level, so and she'll be my like cleanup. So she'll be the one to like chase after people if like um, if people start getting uh, getting away and stuff like that. So okay, so now we play the waiting game. And luckily this map isn't super huge. Ah, man. I mean, the car itself ain't bad. It's just, you know. Yeah, reputation went down. Ugh. Avalon is where the Varoshian Temple started. Most of its residents are monks. We have maintained political neutrality ever since the beginning of the Zenobian Empire. However, now we are even being ruled over by the Empire. Oh, great. Okay. Oh, yeah, this is the shop, shop town, by the way. Put you there. I might summon another evil, a low alignment unit that isn't undead, just in case. But. Alright, what do we got here? We got pearls. Holy cow, $82,000. Uh, so let me look that up really quick. Pearls are. Oops. Alright. Yeah, you can buy them for a very expensive... Oops. Yeah, sorry, my notes on there, so... Uh, okay. So, pearls you can sell for quite a bit. If you help Dan Ebb with her job, she gives you a pearl to offset the cost of, of buying the, the item for her quest. Uh, see, so we can also get a pearl... Uh, yeah, pearls are mainly used for selling uh, in the game. I'm trying to remember if there was anything else for it. Yeah, it's mainly for selling because you can sell it for 41,000 god. So there's almost no reason to buy one. So, um, and summons and all that. So, sorry. Like I said, I don't remember every single item off the top of my head, so I have to look it up. Strength, very nice. And yeah, I know why. I know a lot of people are like, why are you using cannabis? He's not even that great of a character. I just want to. Oh, Boleus, huh? Okay. Let's see. Sorry if I. Oh. Alright, so it should be a. I believe it's an axe item. Yeah, it's a weapon. It gives you 17 strength. It's fire elemental. So, eh, not bad at all. I think I've got one of those before, but... Oh, are you the rebels who freed Zenobia from the Empire's diva? I've heard many rumors about you. Please help this island that you have others. All right. Let's see, what's another... Eh. Yeah, I think we're good right now. So. Yeah, really right now we're just waiting for uh, uh, enemies to start coming, coming our way, so... Eventually, after the first wave, I'll probably move everyone up. I want to, I want to try to be a bit more efficient with my time instead of just sitting on the map for, like, freaking ever, waiting for everyone to get to. Because you know that that takes a lot of time. So. All right, what do we get? No oh, Empress, nice. That'll give us a nice bow of heals and some charisma. Please defeat the Black Knight. When that cursed man heard that the temples went bow to the Empire, he arrested the Grand Monk force and executed her as an example. It's unbearable. Please defeat the Black Knight for us. Well, hopefully he doesn't threaten to bite our legs off. That would be pretty bad. Alright, here comes our first enemy. Let's see, we got ourselves a couple of Griffins and a Valkyrie. So, alright. If it's almost nighttime, I probably swap out for my low alloy, I mean, guys. Pansy. <laughs> I feel so bad. Actually, maybe I should have quit that fire axe to the giant. Oh well. Yeah, 
Yeah, we're off to a good start. They've already done a decent amount of damage to me. Huh, I might have to actually heal. Wow. Alright. That is what I get for using low alignment units. Yeah, they'll probably win from uh, just pure damage. Yeah, that's what I thought. Alright. You're up. <laughs> Otherwise, you're going to capture that place, so... Let's go, let's see. Imagine what's equipped that uh, fire axe to uh, my giant here that we just got. Because I eventually want it, like I said, I want to turn him into a titan if I can help it, so. I know my, my guys are, aren't transformed yet, but they still do decent damage, so. Bye. Ah, come on, man. Your agility's better than this. Oh, eventually. Probably gonna get away, so I mean I could try to have cannabis chase after them and have Repri go back and go to where cannabis is. I mean they're probably gonna get there too fast anyway. There, where's everyone else? Okay, we got a wizard coming that way. Yeah, I'm not gonna, not gonna be able to get to him. Oh well, I'll just stick, I'll just stick uh, cannabis around here, just to kind of back up. Okay, where are you going first? You have undead, so I need to use well either pumpkin man or uh, or healers. So we'll put lands out front for that. So. Let's see, you've got angels, so this will be our first encounter with angels. Angels aren't bad, but it's their next. And then we got a Raven Man with a uh, um, a bunch of fairies, so it'll buff him up once per. Is the three fairies is actually overkill? Like you can't buff him up twice. So what was the point of that? So, oh well, anyway. Yeah, one of the few times I'll have actually Lance go uh, in front. So that way my healer, oh, right, uh, let's see, no, as long as it's not strong, I'm good. Oh yeah, we finally uh, encounter mages on this map because of what, being level 10, so. Did I show off their physical attacks? I think I have, but I'll show them off again. Yeah, mages have an area effect attack that does a decent look at that, oof. Now there goes one of my guys already, ow. Yeah, this is a pretty bad combo right here. Ow. That really hurt. <laughs> Mainly because it was nighttime. Oh, right, I don't need to show that off anymore. But yeah, mages are really dangerous. I mean, look at that. They almost, they almost destroyed me already. All right, let's see. Oh, you're a healer. Oh, no. Oh, yeah, I can't use undead on you. Yeah, see, that's the, that's the problem with this map, so. Um... your level. Ten, nine, nine. And Warren's, I think, a nine or whatever, so. Hold on. Look really quick. I don't know, he's underleveled, so. But the thing is, even if you're underleveled, if you kill holy enemies, there's a, the, your alignment can possibly drop to, still to, so. Yeah, 
Yeah, I'll summon Gilbert just because he's a flyer. I know, I know, he's already high enough level as it is, but still. Let's see. I might have to revive you. I was going to run into the temple to revive him for a little bit cheaper, but... Actually, didn't that guy get enough of a level to, uh, class change to, a uh, knight? Yeah. Yeah, I'm using a lot of knights. Well, it's because I'm playing a high alignment game, so a lot of knights. And, uh, paladins are really good classes, like, overall. I mean, ninja masters are better in terms of just what they do, but I really like paladin classes, so... Alright, uh, angels are holy, uh, holy, um, elemental classes, so they're really great for undead. Um, although their next upgrade is much better, personally. Yeah, they have an ability- oh, right, I forgot to show off there. Well, they only get- the problem with angels is they only get one attack, so they're pretty weak at this late level, but... Yeah, we're- and they're- we're fighting holy- uh, high alignment enemies, so we're not gonna- they're not gonna do a lot of damage to me. But they would destroy the, my undead, though. That's why undead are probably not the best for this map. Oh, I guess I don't need to. I, I should have showed off the banish, but you know, too late now. Because they only do it once. So. I'll try to catch it next time. Yeah, goodbye. Okay, you've got fairies, so I can I can afford to have Jad stick out like right there or something like that. I'll leave you in the general area just in case. Yeah, Raven, uh, Raven, uh, obviously Raven, uh, Raven men are probably the better of the. Uh, um, those classes, so. And the main reason I brought, I bought a, a brought an imp is just because I want to build him up to his final final build. So I want to have at least a decent. Yeah, I'm not gonna. Unfortunately, I'm not gonna do much damage with with these guys against the Raven men anyway. Just because their agility is too high, so. You guys have ninjas, so. Man, yeah, probably should better. I mean, they're not really going to capture. You can't really. Actually, I guess I probably don't need to have have them hanging around the temple because uh, enemies won't recapture temples. So I could probably move you guys over to the section here. Kind of as backup. Yeah, giving my high alignment guys some screen time during the nighttime. Oh yeah, I was gonna show off banish. Show what the, show what the animation looks like. as they want to use it. There we go. Yeah, it's more effective against uh, black or black element enemies. You know, imps, stuff like that. Undead. So against a high alignment unit, yeah, they're kind of worthless. Yeah, the only problem with killing uh, these types of units is that there's a uh, um, killing high alignment units uh, can lead to lower alignment. So. Let's see. I'm oh, still good on, on a, well, except for you guys, but we'll, we'll get there eventually, so. Maybe I should change out the, uh, I think a skeleton is like a weird weapon I need to swap them out for. Oh yeah, and obviously kissing them is obviously gonna 
affect their defense, so... Wait, did they just cast on themselves? Seems kind of pointless. Yeah, if they don't get that kiss on, then, you know, I could do a decent amount of damage. Anyway, you have nothing. Okay, it was you that had you had a dragon weapon or whatever. So, uh, <laughs> give him a holy weapon. No, uh, I don't want to put the crown on on one of you guys. Probably should put on like lands or something like that. So. Luckily, we're a low level, so killing these guys won't affect our alignment. So, because even if even if you kill high alignment enemies, if you're still a lower level, it's still considered fighting a powerful enemy. I forgot how the the numbers work on like you know fighting uh, like holy characters in terms of and still being stronger. I don't think you gain as much alignment, I believe, but still. Like I said I haven't I haven't really gone through the books and you know hacked the game and figure out all the little details. Oh yeah, and those clerics are the next step up. They're shaman. They have a more powerful heal than uh, previously. You might be heading towards uh, my guy. Maybe he might be a uh, boss AI capture. You keep buffing the fairies. Like that's pointless. That's the problem with fairies. They'll go out. They they might buff themselves, even though that's pointless. You know. Ah oh, wow, we're good. either Gilbert or uh, Cannabis finish them off. Yep. Okay. Yeah, I want that imp to gain some levels. Yeah, I grabbed I grabbed an imp from the program forest. Oh, yeah, you're coming towards me. Uh, let's see. I'm just trying to think about what I have. I might have Gilbert in his backup. Because I still don't want to gain my main character any more levels right now, if I can help it. And I'll have a canvas try to finish those guys off if I can. Ah, yeah, lovely. Oh, lovely! Keep missing! Awesome. We just want this battle to last forever, don't we? Yeah, unfortunately, bad thing about healers is they kind of drag out some fights. Oh my god. Oh yeah, the shamans can heal three times, by the way, so... Yeah, I'll move cannabis towards, uh, towards that one guy to, to finish him off. You guys might do a bit of damage to... Uh, uh, my Beastmaster just because of the you know, ninja abilities. Yeah. But luckily they're not too powerful. Yeah, they're getting pretty lucky with them missing his attacks. So. Huh. His intelligence isn't that much higher, so I guess I'm just getting lucky. Uh, let's see. What is your level, Lance? You're still like eight or nine. Eh. I have to be careful because I'll like if he starts killing guys, he'll start losing his alignments and stuff like that. So maybe I should have a Repri or. A are you after him? Actually, let's have uh, you try to fight them off. Oh yeah, she moves to the forest, so she's gonna move like super slow. So yeah, I need to manipulate. I need to change out hers. Uh, after I built her, I, I realized it was forest. I'm like, uh, I probably should change her out a bit just to. Uh, um, 
uh, give her better movement. Because Forest is good, but only on certain maps. It's better to have flying units if you really can help it, so... Yeah, I tried an interesting combo here with the, uh, the, uh, ninjas and, uh, Deneb. Uh, or, sorry. I keep saying Deneb even though there's no Deneb here. Deneb's not here, man. I didn't make her, man. So... Yeah, she's one of the few specialty characters that you don't need for the uh, um, better ending of the game. Because the best ending of the game requires you to get all specialty characters except for two. And one of them's obvious, for those who are aware, uh, who one of those characters are. And Deneb is the other one. So you can easily not get those two and get the best ending of the game. However, if you get all the characters, you can't get the best ending of the game. It's impossible. Um... because of uh, what was required to get one of them. And it coincide. it goes against the, um... Okay, I'm getting pretty lucky on that. Um, it coincides against how to get the best ending of the game, so... Alright, might have to have Canvas go up to him or Gilbert, depending on how I'm, how I'm feeling. Might have to be Canvas. Just because this guy might go too fast, so... Let's try moving back this way, just to kind of uh, hit him at the pass. There we go. Also, I need to move some people back to town so I can heal. I said the, the whole point of my army and the build of my army is really to kind of have a different combination of characters. I'm not, I mean, technically if I wanted to min-max, I would like, I would have a, a ton of ninjas and like, and people like the OC, you don't, you don't take any damage, did you? Yeah, I'd have like a ton of ninjas and like pumpkins and stuff like that, so. care of you and then moving back into place so we can do more capture off screen or capture between and i feel like it's better to put i mean griffins do okay damage in the front but i almost feel like griffins are better like in the back with their gale ability even though the gale ability overall is not the best um multi-hit in the game it's uh it's decent for what it is Didn't even finish them off. Yeah, see, <laughs> Hawkmen are definitely, definitely not not super great units overall. Because even at his level, I wasn't even effectively finishing them off. You know what I mean? or something like that just to get you out of the way. What were you doing? Where are you going anyway? Let's see, we got a bunch of wild men. Which is an evil upgrade to the beast men, by the way. So, Where are you going? There's nothing over there. Okay, whatever. His AI is busted, I guess. Alright, well, you're back. Yeah, I knew you were going to come back at some point. Okay, I need... Obviously, I need uh, you to be in front. And, uh... Actually, I could just probably... I should probably just... Leave you there and just push you back just a little bit for my healer. Just to make him the forefront. Might put can push Canvas over there just to help with backup again, just in case... You know, the, they don't finish them off again, so. I might eventually start moving everyone away to, to just kind of uh, not drag it out a bit. Yeah, keep going after him then. That's the only problem. Ah. Ah. 
come on. Yeah, a lot of people say pumpkin heads or Halloweens aren't that great overall. I disagree. They will be better. Oh, yes, they will. Just They just need their agility to go up a bit. That's all. Yeah, almost wrecked him. Uh, okay, that's either targeting cannabis. I'm not trying to fight these guys. They must have a... Yeah, they must have closest enemy unit uh, as their AI script. Take him to the town just to uh, heal up again, I guess. Alright, there's another. Uh, let's see, you are. What do you got? Uh, could try Janu again, just to. Either one, Janu or the uh, or uh, Jad would work. Depending on what happens. Oh, yeah, probably should move, like. We're pre up just to uh, be a backup just in case we don't finish them off or something like that. Not for almost a daytime. Huh, didn't have to fight as many as many times during night this time. Hmm. Ouch. Hey, all right. Well, even though he'd already done his damage, yeah, you need to kind of have a, you need to kind of have a, a witches to go first because uh, that way they can actually activate their thing really fast. I Man, look how much damage Leon does as a ninja. Like it's crazy. And the fact they attack three times makes it crazy. Uh, hmm. Yeah, you might get away. Ah, nuts. I wonder if I could uh, beat him off of the pass or not. Oh, there's the secret ninja, or secret... Uh, 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 mermaid uh, enemy. Yeah, there's some mermaid enemies on this map that'll attack you from behind. Yeah, I almost forgot about you guys. Okay. Gilbert, if you would, uh, if you would protect me from the, uh, uh, those people. Thanks. Yeah. Yeah, unfortunately, he's going to get too far away, but we're pretty back, so. All right, Zotopus versus Mermaid. Who will win? Well, they're in their element, that's for sure, so. Oh, have I ever shown off their attacks? Eh, it might be too late. Well, I mean the octopuses, I mean... There we go. Did I ever show off the mermaid ability? I think I did. Yeah, because I think they only go, they only attack once. Yeah, octopuses in water do like multiple attacks. Look at that. They get quite a few attacks, um, but only in the water. If they're outside of the water, they're actually not as effective. <laughs> oh, I was still moving. That's why I was on the water. I was like, I thought I was I stopped moving by this point, so. Alright, let's have Reprieve move back. Yeah, I'm almost kind of hoping that if I get lucky, I can get Campus over there before. 
they come back? Let's see. How is everyone doing? Yeah, now we're on land, so. I'm waiting for the mermaid to go. There it is, blizzard. So. Different from ice field, so. Yeah, they're ice based uh, uh, enemies. But like I said, their next upgrade is like ridiculously good. And octopuses can work. You just have to use them on the water. If they are not on the water, they are not as good as they should be. I mean, you could say the same with any class, but the octopuses don't get as many. Um, yeah, don't get as many uh, bumps if they're on the land, so. Uh, excuse me. Uh, okay. Let's see. Got a bunch of knights and ninjas. Yeah, it's during the daytime, so. Let's see, how's everyone doing? Looks like we're chasing after a free or something like that, so. Let's do something with these guys. Just do, uh. Yeah, let's do, uh. Let's do a double card. Although well, I probably shouldn't be using all these attack cards because we're gonna need them against the boss, but. Yeah, it does a dark attack on everyone. Yeah, it kind of looks like your classic, uh. Um. Then I could start when, you know, we miss one of your attacks. But luckily the giant has a decent uh giant's really a cheaper version of a dragon when you when you kinda look at it. In terms of like and they get to hit more times too, so. So overall I'd probably say giants are slightly better, actually, even though I like dragons a lot. And so far I'm hitting with all my attacks, so. Well, okay. Yeah, th I thought it was well, just a little bit behind on my damage. The uh, ninjas are just too good. I was gonna pause, but uh... let's see. I already turned off animations, right? So. I mean, I will start having my character uh, attack stuff to gain levels, but. One of the weirdly easiest ways to do is actually go to the Pogram Forest and click the Holy Weapon and kill ghosts until it raises your character up to level 9. Ooh, we found an Intelligence Bump. Nice. I've actually been getting quite a few uh, a, a tribute uh, bumps. And they're, those are pricey. Those are actually not a bad find. You know, especially those alignment ones. Because later on in the game, you can buy them, but they're super expensive, you know. Yeah, too bad the werewolf characters, uh, I like them, but only get one attack during the day, so. They're still pretty powerful, but yeah, one attack really hurts. That's the problem with lycanthropes, is that it, unless it's night time, they're almost worthless. So they're getting away, so. Let's see, how is that? Ah. Uh, hmm, he might be too far ahead. Because he has high fly as well. Okay. Let's see. Okay, for some reason you are after a pre, for whatever weird reason. I mean, I could fight you. I've got the. I go over there just have uh, a backup type of thing situation. So, uh, oh maybe. Oh, we got to nice. Take this. Yeah, you're not getting your guys back. No way.
Okay, back we go. Okay, back to the front with you. Let's see, yeah, we got those beastmen and dragon. Yeah, you're almost healed up. Yeah, staying in towns heals you up pretty, pretty effectively. Yeah, that guy was definitely after a free, but it was a case of whoever the unit closest to him was, he was going to chase after. And more, more buffs. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what's up with this three, this, this three, a fairy like build. You know what I mean? It's just kind of repetitious. Yeah, you're done with your attacks, so unless you don't get any more. I should be, or unless you miss all my attacks, I'll be fine. Yeah, let's stand on the town so I can get some heals. Probably chasing after cannabis, I bet, because uh, that oh, yeah. unit when it came out saw him and it was just like, "I'm gonna get him. I'm I'm in the mood for some chicken tonight. I want some chicken tonight, some chicken tonight, some chicken tonight." Okay, just making sure I was on it. Seem to be beating up on the uh, leaders all the time in this group. All right, we need to. Do, do. Okay, so we have to get so cannabis. I need to have you kind of stay around here. Let's see, you are. Yeah, I think they have low. If I remember correctly, angels are low sky units. So, right yep, yeah, sure. I was actually hoping it'd be like lands or something. Oh, lands is kind of high level, though. I'll admit. Oh, right. Um, I don't have a holy card to deal with you. Oh wait, the pumpkins can kill him. Yeah, it's just my ninjas aren't gonna do any damage. So. As if they hit at least or if they hit a uh, let's see mm. I can't be strong try a weak maybe there we go yeah see pumpkins could kill ghosts so ow <laughs> yeah the damage has been done already Oh, wow. Huh. He still... He won because of the damage from the fire. Because killing the ghost count as no HP. <laughs> uh, let's see. Can I get... Can I get to them fast enough? Because they have low sky movement, but I might be able to get to them before, before they do that, though. Okay. Canvas, you finish them off, and they'll head back to the... Master Town, and then hopefully I'll be able to catch that one guy. Not bad on cleanup. Yeah, the only problem with being a cleanup you is you have a depending on the enemy AI, you might be you might be relegated to. Now, if there's my expenses. I'm um, actually because I haven't captured enough towns. I basically lost money. Oh well, that's the that's one of the minor problems with uh, not capturing a lot of towns is you lose out on. Um, let's see, uh, might have lands, might have lands, and everyone start moving to the next towns. But yeah, that's the problem with staying put and waiting for enemies to chase after you is. Uh, 
is you lose out on tributes. So, so it's a toss up. Do you want to, you know, have your, um, do you want to capture the towns and have to defend them all against all these monsters, or do you, uh, now there's another mermaid, but I don't want to fight. I don't want to mess with you if I can help it. Okay, I have to move maybe somewhere in the middle here. I'm trying not to fight people as cannabis if I can help it. Well, that aren't clean up, I mean. Okay. I could have him start capturing, um... Uh... Let's see. Yeah, I guess we'll leave you guys there for now. What's this guy? He's also high, so... Might, might stick maybe Jad in town. I know they... Maybe, leave, uh, maybe move Gilbert up there, and I could just always just summon someone to help the, my commander if it really comes down to it, because I can, I can summon one more guy, so... Yeah. Yep, go ahead. Yeah, Canvas is getting his, getting his use. Things so you've already been done for, so. Alright. How are your levels, anyway? Yeah, I'll pause after that one just to, uh. Yeah, more, more angels. But yeah, I definitely want to have a couple of them. If you've got the charm item, you know, you could char you could just grab a couple of these uh, um, angels from these guys if you want to. Yeah, these guys are basically here too. If you were dumb enough to have just uh, undead for your whole army, you're like, well, here's a bunch of holy people. Hopefully you were prepared for that. Stupid be able to heal like three times in a row. <laughs> it just drags out the fight sometimes. Okay, let's see. Cannabis, yeah, finish you up. Could start capturing the temples just to uh, get the items and everything like that. Oh, right, you don't have a you don't have a holy item, do you? Crap, I forgot about that. I'll have to equip someone with a holy item later. I thought I had someone with one, but nah. I'll just equip someone with a libel later. Everyone might miss. Yeah, I forgot this was the ghost character. Whoops. Yeah, we're gonna lose, of course. Uh, okay, let me see. Uh, do I have you guys with something? No, you don't have anything. You have the silver helmet, but... Okay, let me... Equip an item to you. I thought I put the libel on someone, so. Let's put it on the Raven Man just because it uh he actually can hit more effectively. Oh yeah, how is your levels going? Ten? Yeah, I probably should stop attacking with finishing you guys off because uh he's I don't want him to lose alignment, so. Why do you keep giving me cards that lower my reputation? Or alignment? That hurts for Lance because he's supposed to be a high alignment group. The island prince Garrus is on the island now. Garrus is demanding that the monks of the island bow to the empire. But the monks only follow the gods and refuse to bow to Garrus. Any true monk would rather die than serve the empire. Alright. Let's have you capture the next one. And we'll leave Jad here. trying to think of it when I start maybe moving everyone to the next town. Yeah, there's a town up there. There's a couple of hot, hidden items, too. Like there's one, I think it's here, and the other two are like, I uh, see one's like here, and the other one's like down here, but I'll, I'll get those later, so. 
I could technically wait till after the map is done to get buried items because I have to come back here anyway just to check the map and I could do a bit more min-maxing if I really wanted to get like really good items too but uh, I don't know, this seems so cheap when you do something like that, you know what I mean? I don't like min-maxing, or I don't like uh, try to RNG manipulating for items, because that's kind of boring in a way. Because you could eventually get... Though, although, there's really no guarantee to uh, uh, get the items you want, though, because it's, it's pretty much random, you know? So, I don't know, maybe it's fine to do that. It just takes forever to do it. should hit the weak enemies, dude. Ah, too late now. Now he's getting his levels, at least. He's like, I got him at level one. Um, hired him. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. I want to do that. And there's a uh, temple right next to Canvas I could capture. Just hopefully the Raven Man actually hits. Oh, we found a staff. A, a staff. That's all it says, a staff. Okay, staff. <laughs> Don't you just love what some of the items in the game are just so super vague? Like, uh, but yeah, staff, I believe is, this is an item I actually want. Yeah, it's an undead staff. So what that does is it allows you to uh, um, upgrade, I believe it's to the final upgrade of the uh, wizard. Um... Uh, yeah, or sorry, no, it promotes you to a sorcerer, so I have to be a mage. So this allowed me, you can't get this eventually from somewhere else, but this saves me some time so I can eventually turn a, um, uh, Warren into a, uh, in a into a, a sorcerer. Because for those who play the game, you know, you know what you turn, uh, um, what you turn, uh, Warren into. It's like, everyone does it. Sorry, I was, oh, no, but I don't want to back up. Um, I could go ahead and capture the the temple so I could heal. <clears throat> and it'll give us access to a character, so... Which is right here. <clears throat> I'm just trying to decide if I want to start moving everyone up at this point. We'll leave a couple of people behind. Maybe leave Gilbert here and have everyone move forward, because Gilbert's a pretty good bat uh, like protection against everyone else, so. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I decide who to move up here. I mean I could just have a <clears throat> canvas do that. Who's my other and it's just Ash and Warren. The only reason I'm not using Ash is he's kind of high level at this point, so. Then you get Warren, uh, Lions is too, so. Yeah, you healed him before. No! The War of Attrition. damage. <clears throat> He's getting those levels. Yeah, it's, unfortunately it's not till 15 till uh, till he really gets his use though. Alright. The uh, secret liber uh, Russian temple. Yes. I was about to say, do I get the good fortune pull? Oh, nice. Three points. Alright, awesome. I am Aisha, the daughter of Grand Monk Forest. Not only have you destroyed the... What I... Not only have you destroyed when I heard... Wait, what? Anyway. When I heard that the Black Knight had come to Avalon, I returned as quickly as I could. But I seemed to have been too late. I must have revenge for my mother. 
please allow me to join the rebels. Let me get revenge. Uh, is that really a good thing to say? Like, you know, whatever. Thank you. I'll fight with you to the death. All right, we get Aisha in the group, and we want to obviously we want to use her for this. She's, she's got a story-based indication with the the main guy here. So okay, and yeah, and as soon as I get a person to a mage, I can turn him into a, 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 a sorcerer immediately. So yeah, as soon as Warren hits tenth level, I'll turn him into a sorcerer, and to the obvious conclusion of Warren's arc. <laughs> uh, for those who play the game, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, okay, so Aisha, let's look at the her edited units here. So Aisha is going to be built to be a super holy character group overall. So let's take a look at Aisha. So she's a level 10 shaman, so she can do the whole healing three times, which shaman are really good, but Aisha really works if you turn her into a princess character. So let's go ahead and uh, uh, remove, let's go ahead and rebuild her. Like I said, the, probably the most efficient way really is to, um, uh, take a level, low level Amazon and just build them up from there. I do actually have a couple low level Amazons. I got a couple level twos just in case I want to try and build a princess later. The problem with the princess unit is it is very fragile. So until you build it up to a specific spot, it can be kind of a, kind of a tough, tough sell to keep a keeper like that. So let's see, where are, oh, she's on the next screen here. So yeah, there you are. And she also comes with a mermaid as well. Uh, they have movement of shallow, so not water, but shallow. And, oh yeah, there's the octopuses. I never showed them off. See, yeah, yeah. Look at that, four tentacles. But it's really they're only really good in the front or in water. So if they're out of water, they're pretty much out of luck. Like in terms of just stat losses and everything like that. So anyway, to so what how to turn um, I, uh, specialty character A one into different, something different? We have to back uh, back. Uh, Unpromote them or whatever. So we turn it into the Amazon, and then we. Uh, um, if you're not gonna, if you don't have the crown, then just keep leveling up Aisha as is. Um, she's fine as a as a the the, the cleric buildup if you want to do that. But uh, I want to turn Aisha into a princess because she's a really good. If you have it at the time, she's a really good candidate for it. Deneb is the best candidate for it because of her high luck. If you get um, yeah, look at Aisha's, like, intelligence stat and agility. Look at that. Like, uh, it's really good. Um, but obviously she's better, best as a healer, uh, or a princess character. So, but anyway, use the crown on an Amazon. Now turn him into a princess. And that's why Deneb or, uh, princesses are, or Deneb or Aisha are really good specialty characters to turn into princesses. So let's take a look at them. So they have an ability called, uh, you don't, even though they get Stardust at the front, um, you don't want to put them at the front. You want to leave them in the back with their Starlight ability. Also, uh, princesses have an ability to give everyone in the group an extra attack. So they're basically an Emperor card, but permanent. So as long as you have, uh, as long as you have a princess in a group, you can put them at the back. So a lot of, so princesses work really well with enemies that, that could, that definitely need extra attacks. So that, that way super powerful. So like angel upgrades, are really good for that. Dragons actually work really well if they're paired with the uh, with the uh, princesses. So anything that you want to have extra attacks, you can even pair them up with Halloween to get three pumpkin attacks per thing. So it's crazy what you can get if you uh, uh, pair up people with princesses. So all right, let's go ahead and uh, make a new uh, new group. But Aisha, what I want to do with her is I want to get a couple of angels at one point put them in the group of by two of them and put them in the back and then i'll get some other characters for the front i, I have to i have to decide who i want to put in the front right now i don't have um the uh let's see i mean i could do mermaids for now uh, i want to have a really strong group to fight against this guy but i don't have all my best characters i mean i could break apart aisha or aisha i mean and put him in the group i might do that actually for now Let me put, yeah, let me break, let me break down uh, Ash's uh, group. And I'll put him in the front, because I want some really powerful characters to uh, fight, uh, fight Garrus. There, where are you, Ash? There you are. Put you in the front. And that'll get you uh, three attacks per turn. And... I sort of thought, and put the mermaids, that would give them two blizzard attacks. 
for one. Although I don't think I want to have multiple blizzards. Uh, yeah, you're about the pretty close in stat wise, so. Ooh, I could put a. Oh no, octopus wouldn't be pretty useful because uh, I don't have a high level octopus anyway, so. I don't get two acid attacks, however, you're not a very high level, so. Yeah, let's just put a bunch of uh, knights there. Actually, let me go ahead and put the ninja there, too. That'll give him four attacks, so. Alright, we want to summon. Also, we obviously want to deploy Ash, Aisha. Alright, yeah, we'll put her up at the. I head her towards the front or whatever, so. Because we want her to fight the boss, so. Let's see, what town are you? You are also high. I might actually might have Aisha have her uh, take over that town. Oops. Or hold that town and have lands eventually go to the other one. Just to capture him, so. Yeah, it'd probably be better to have a flyer there, but, yeah. Alright. Now we'll see, we'll see how this works. With, like, how often your healing will counteract our attacks. Should do enough damage we gain a lot of levels. Yeah, see, they were weak before, but when they gained those levels, man. Oh, there's the mermaid. Uh, will it be nighttime by the time? I might have just the... Um, you guys, like, wait for him. And by the way, the shallow is this spot here, by the way. Uh, this is deep water, this is shallow, so... How's everyone doing? Oops. Sorry. I've already summoned everyone, yeah. So if I want to summon anyone else, I can... Yeah, everyone's heading towards cannabis. Really, I just left it there for the purposes of uh, healing, but... I kind of want to show off the princess, but we'll show it off there. But like I said, her initial ability is okay. They're just, like, super... Um, they're super uh, uh, frail, like overall, at least at low levels. So, yeah, not quite night time. So, unfortunately, the werewolves will not get their multiple attacks. But we will do a ton of damage. So. Oh, baby. Yeah, their weakness to the weakness to uh, lightning is ridiculous. Like, um, they will just like get wrecked by by um, the lightning attacks. So. Yeah, four attacks might be awesome, but uh, you know, you're almost tempted to put an octopus in a group with a princess so they get five attacks. You know, I might see if I can try to finish them off. Um, actually, let's see if we can get over here to kind of cut them off at the pass if we can. Oh, whoops. There we go. Sorry, I didn't want to move too far away, but I don't want him to attack all the enemies, though, either, so... Um... Nah, I guess we're fine. chunk of damage there. Actually, I might have everyone just move to the uh, um, the temple there. That's a good middle of the road. Because most of the enemies will run into that spot, you know what I mean? The only problem is I'm kind of high level, so, for cannabis at this point, so... 
Um, yeah, let's let's start moving actually everyone everyone up there. I said they'll start. We'll just start kind of wailing on all the enemies back to back, so then we can kind of uh, relegate our uh, our attacks and everything like that. So. I think my hero is fine by himself. I think I can handle the, whatever else the game throws at me. So. Actually, come on now. Uh, it's hot in mid alignment, so. We want to move over there eventually, so. Do any of you guys even have mountainous movement? So you're moving like super slow here. Yeah, fortunately, since we're high alignment, we're not going to do as much damage here. Yeah, I'm just going to get picked apart or pick them apart, one of the two. Yeah, I got pretty lucky with that. I say ninjas are awesome, but these ninjas don't seem to be doing as well as they should be. Which is good for me, I guess. Then again, Canvas has been building up rather rather solidly as a uh, as a build, so No, I wasn't I was gonna have to stop moving there for a second, but I'm trying to think what else to really say. I basically said everything I need to on this map in terms of like importance. And I've already explained most of the mechanics multiple times over the course of the game, so it's really just a case of remi remi reminding myself like what, what else I could add to the conversation. All right, everyone's heading up. Let's see what you're just, you have, are you mad? I thought you were uh, planes. Am I misremembering? Maybe. Ooh, Empress, nice. Could always use healing cards. Garrus actually does do a ton of damage, so, uh, with his attacks. The ogres are legendary monsters. They are completely different from humans. They love the dark and hate the light, love power and hate peace. I don't know if they ever really existed or not, but even if you can't see legends with your eyes, they always exist in our hearts. Ogres may really be just, just be humans with evil in their hearts. Yeah, I don't think you should ever, I think you hear the tales of, of uh, ogres, but I don't think you ever actually see them in the series. You get like, there's weapons and references to them supposedly being real, but there's never a straight out like, you never actually see an ogre in the game. But you see, like, weapons of the ogres, so thus ogre battle. The supposed story of it is that the ogre battle took place before this game, like, in Ancient Tales. That's why you never get to play Ogre Battle 1 through 4. Because if you beat this game, it says this is story number 5 or something like that. And every game afterwards is story 6, 7, whatever. So you never get the original stories. I don't know if, they were, if that was just a way to, like, kind of add mystery to it. They're like, oh, the, this is the, the middle of the, the grand story of Ogre Battle. You know, or Tactics Ogre, whichever. It kind of turned weirdly turned into Ogre Battle to Tactics Ogre, even though they're the same universe. You think they just keep calling it Ogre Battle, but maybe it's because they cha changed the game mechanics of uh, the uh, the fight, so they changed the uh... right. You are undead. I cannot fight you. I don't need high charisma with you guys though, so. Uh... I'm trying to remember which is it judgment? Yeah, judgment would work. Yeah, we'll use judgment. It's a holy attack, so. I was just wanting to save that card, but that's fine. We'll get more later. 
I, I can always buy Jokers if it really comes down to it, so. Yeah, I'm tired of, uh, Kate of us getting, uh, surrounded, so we'll, uh, we'll be able to have more people here and they can get the experience, too. Now, I think the Griffin's a lower level, so it's not too easy you to lose too much in the way of alignment. Although, weirdly enough, I don't think I want to upgrade my uh, my uh, Griffins to the Cockatrices because even though the Petrify is an interesting ability, they lose out on that all area attack. So, like, and their stat growth isn't that much better. So, I might I might grab one Cockatrice just for completion's sake, but I don't think I'll actually use Cockatrices as a permanent, a permanent thing. Okay, everyone is... Let me, uh, Simon, what were you? You are for Oh, you're forest. That's right, because of the um, uh, Halloweens. That's why you're moving so slow. But we got to you in time, so it doesn't matter. All right, finish them off. And my evil units are doing good. Yeah, you need some levels anyway for free, so. Yeah, too bad it's at night, so they're probably going to do a bit of damage to me, so. Although it looks like their stats are that much better than mine. Because they're missing quite a bit. The problem with Wild Men and Beastmen is they have really good strength builds, but their agility is not very great. So, and intelligence is a good either. So if you have high, if you have a, a wizard units or whatever, they'll kind of decimate these guys. So now at least I got the win, but there, I lost the war. Okay, so. Now, let's see. I might have to heal you guys, maybe. Because you're going to get some decent movement here. And you're more dragon units, so... Okay, we'll, uh, we'll heal the... Uh, those knights. Now I heal you guys. Let's see, you almost got that. Let's see, that's a... Mid. Are you guys? Let's see. Now nah, your alignment's too low at this point, so. Okay. Oh, I could turn Simon into a mage now if I wanted to. Yes, sir. Boink! Alright. The air alignment's too low to capture that town, so. It's not super high, is it? Well, it is, but it won't affect things too badly, so I'll have you capture the town, even though I wanted a flyer to do that. But Now we should get our other unit there to help us, so uh, for low alignment uh, attacks anyway, so... These guys are too high alignment, so they're not they're not punching through as much as I'd like. And technically, I think Gale counts as a physical a physical air attack, if I recall. So, all right. Let's see, let's put Jad out in front just because of uh he's the low alignment guy for this group, so Alright, what do you give me? Oh, come on, game. Quit giving me low low reputation things. Whatever, I'll still keep it. It's an attack card. Position of Grand Monk of Avalon has always been passed on from mother to daughter. The Grand Monk has always fought to protect the forces of good from those of evil. 
Grand Monk Forest gave her own life to Garrus as part of that light fight. Alright, let's see. This town is mid. It's very mid. Yeah, I'll go ahead and capture you, so that way next time the day the tribute turns around I'll get a extra money. Find, find out about it. What are you finding out about? Yeah, these guys are going down easy. Yeah, the only problem with ghosts is they're good magical units for the most part, but since they can't do like what like what wizards can, where they can hit multiple different units with their uh, weaknesses, they're not the best magical unit. That still goes to the wizard. Yeah. It's just wizards are kind of low HP growth, so it's a challenge to just like, eh, you know. Yeah, it's just crazy how my low alignment guys are just so much better than my high alignment group. I'm trying to build. We will get as soon as I can build up some angels and uh, and that we'll get we'll get like a couple of really good like high alignment units. Not angels themselves. I'm talking about their upgrades. If you get really lucky, one of the benefits to getting a crown early is to um, uh, you can actually hire uh, angels at a low level. So if you take like a level two like. Uh, um, Princess or level two Amazon, level one or two Amazon turn into a princess. You can hire really low angels that way you can build them up better. The only problem with doing that is angels are pretty low, low, uh, like their stat growth isn't great until they get to the next level. So you have a challenge of building them up. So, yes, it would be an opportunity to do that, but you'd have to basically get them early, go into the forest of program, and, and grind them through the undead to, uh, uh, get the levels that you need for him so it's a challenge and especially if you do that with the princess and toe being as fragile as they are so now another uh well not depending on what happens i might need to move up there so yeah another mermaid i think we've i'll have to check and see what my mer how many mermaids there are let me see I think there's like three or four, let me see. Uh, three. So if we finish this one off, this will be it. So I don't have to worry about them anymore. Yeah, this is probably not a very opportune because it's nighttime, so I'm not I'm not really at my best here. And yes, it's a fire. There, it's not gonna be as effective as a lightning attack would be against these guys, so my uh, giant is not gonna do a ton of damage. Yeah, if they lose, they lose. I really wasn't. I wasn't uh, going for them anyway. So. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, I'm not gonna go after them anymore. Uh, well, I wasn't going to in the first. That wasn't the. the that wasn't my intent. I'm gonna have to, yeah, have uh, you guys get over the edge so you can fight the uh, uh, mermaids and octopuses. Okay, now let's have them go after the town. Okay, how's the how's the other group doing? Looks like they all backed off. Where are you going? You're going towards the princess. You should be fine, because Aisha's got a good enough stat build to uh, be able to, uh... Just enough. <laughs> Unfortunately, we'll be fighting them on the water, but hey. And we've got our uh, werewolves in whatever form ready to go, so... I kind of don't want them to fight. Um, I want them to hit the octopuses. 
Oh, right, I forgot to show off. Yeah, they, they get area attacks now when you're a mage. So, sorry about that. I should have shown that off. Well, next time. The only problem with the mage is that you can really, you can lower your alignment really, really fast if you uh, aren't careful because of uh, you might kill multiple enemies at once. If you're a super high level, you might just tank your alignment and you need to at least be able to... Well, actually, I think after... No, after getting the mage, I don't have to worry about alignment anymore because uh, the last two upgrades in the, um, in the build are item required. So yeah, never mind. I can tank it as much as I want. Starlight will hit everyone. <laughs> I wrecked him. Holy crap. Oh, I should have shown off Starlight. But, uh, yeah. Yeah, Starlight's a holy ability, by the way, for those who are curious. So, yeah, we just destroyed those ghosts. Holy cow. Uh, okay. Where are all you going? Looks like you're going back to town. Are you are you like trying to go after lands or something like that? Uh, let's have let's have cannabis move towards uh, this place to capture that for the possible item. I want you to be a little bit further forward so you can get the possibly. Right All right. Inside you go. Now I just need some, uh... Oh, yeah, and obviously if you choose a princess with uh, some ninja, you know, you're going to destroy those ninjas. Let's see, let's just do best on this one. So we can toggle around the, the pumpkin's abilities. Go after the same guys. They're not best, but whatever. Yeah, the only problem with the pumpkin build is that if you don't if you don't choose their targets wisely, they'll uh, keep attacking like the same unit and that won't be as effective as uh, hit different units. So, are you just going back? Ah, fool car, nice. I mean, I wish it, I wish uh, Cannabis had gotten that, but the Black Knight Garrus wants to take this island over and use it to hold all, all the Roshian temples in the continent at bay. So you basically want to hold. It's kind of like holding Rome. Your idea is to hold all the holy cities back, to, back together. Did I kill all your guys? Is that why you're doing that? No. Yeah, you're gonna, probably going back to heal. That's probably why they're all heading back to. Uh, these places, so. Chariot. Nice. Chariot's a good card. Yeah, strength would be good for those, so. Oh, right, I'm full on cards. Crap. Uh, uh, let's get rid of the death card. Death is good, but I, I'd rather... Uh, you see, have you seen the Black Knight? I've never seen anyone who looks so scary. He is covered in black armor. It makes him look like one of the ogres of legend. I get goosebumps just thinking about it. I think the only game that we get a really close assumption of what the ogres might be or what their power might be is, I think, Tactics Ogre, actually. Uh, I believe. Let's see, the other town is a high. So I could probably have Cannabis do that since it's an alignment so high. Yeah, you're heading after Lance, so... You're probably going to the town is probably what your initial objective was, so... Yeah, let's have Gilbert help this uh, this area out. I think this is the final set of guys, actually, if I recall, so we're almost done with this play thing, so... If only the witch I had was a little bit more faster. Oh, well. Yeah, you know, you're at different targets now. Nice. Nah, I woke up. Great. 
Don't you hate it when you actually get really, really lucky and something, then like something that immediately breaks its attack? You're like, wake up at the last second. Wake up! We're gonna have a little bit of shake up. Yeah, probably not the best best formation, I'll admit. Now, are you gonna head back or not? Liberation. Oh, you're, uh, okay. You're gonna try to capture that one town. I thought, oh, okay. Oh, wow, Thank nice. Uh, I'm trying to think what I want to get rid of, though. Um, let's see. Empress is good, Emperor is really good. Chariot, strength. Fortune lets you run away. Let's get rid of Temperance. Oh, we found a knife. Nice. We get iron in that bangle. Okay. The Grand Monk Forest has a, had a single child. Her name is Aisha. When the girls on this island reach 16, they must go out on a voyage to prepare for the, for the manhood. Monkhood, I mean, sorry. <laughs> Aisha has been away for two years now. She still doesn't know of her mother's death. Eh, except we found her already, so... What is your move? Is it just regular? Oh, eh, it's planes. So I can I can chase after you. Um, let's have Gilbert. You, for whatever reason, are deciding to go to the town over there in the corner. So you must have uh, you must have capture town AI or something. I mean, I could have a uh, cannabis go after him, but I think Gilbert will make it. So. Uh, yeah, you must have AI to capture town AI or capture the 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 um, the, the main uh, your uh, base AI. I'll have to look up the different AIs that you can get in the game because I don't remember. I don't remember all of them. There's like a few. No, I was sorry. I was looking up that iron bangle again just to tell you what it was. How are we doing? Sorry, I looked away from the map. I think that might be... Actually, that might be Iron Gloves. Yeah. Iron Gloves. They had two points of physical protection. So, yeah, not, not a great item. That's better than nothing, I guess. Yeah, come to Gilbert. Come to Butthead. Ah. Oh, well. Yeah, at this point, the pumpkins aren't going to be as useful because these guys are already low enough as it is, so. That, like I said, that's the problem with the pumpkin. As soon as you hit that initial, like, bit, then they kind of become not useful. Because, you know, the, the, it's like a little bit repetitious as the point, so. Yeah, they're better for hit and run tactics than anything. Because then you weaken, you weaken, like, one group, and then you have, uh, then you have someone else finish them off, for example. I'll still, but yeah, people, a lot of people like online stuff like they say pumpkins are because their agility growth isn't as good, so they're not as useful. But I, I say nay. Do not, do not dissuade the power of the pumpkin. Oh, well, you were going to go to that town, but you decided to, maybe your, uh, maybe your AI was, maybe it changed or, or something. So let's head on. Yeah, let's, we've, we've pretty much got everyone. So we got, let's, uh. Oops. Yeah. Let's have Reprie grab that one town since we're in the general area. Since she's a, a decent alignment. Oh, actually, is your alignment high? Because that's high. Let me check really quick. She might still be at medium. Uh, yeah, you're under 70, so you're technically medium. So never mind, I will not have you go over there. So I, I'll probably have a uh, cannabis go capture because his alignment's high. The only problem with, with his build is the uh, the uh, uh, the Raven Man does drop it a little bit because of the uh, uh, his low alignment. That shouldn't affect it too badly. <laughs> this land's gonna fight everyone. I actually wasn't wanting him to fight everyone. I don't want him to start losing uh, alignment. 
but you've got enough attack strength. So you're probably, even though Lance is considered one of the, uh, not the worst, but one of the worst, uh, definitely down there in terms of specialty characters, like in terms of his growth and everything comparatively, I think he's still, because you get him so early in the game, I think he's still built up rather fine. But yeah, a lot of, a lot of uh, lists and stuff like that will put Lance pretty low as a specialty character anyway. Which is weird because Lance becomes a, even though with that in mind, Lance becomes a, a important uh, NPC in the Tactics Ogre War, or at least in the next game. Which I like. Unfortunately, what happens to him is, well, not the best. So, you'll find out about that whenever, whenever I, if I ever play Tactics Ogre one of these days. I do want to, but the thing is they are quite an investment. So I have to pretty much, like, this game... This, the recording for this thing, like one takes like almost, well, depending on how much prep I have to do, it might take like anywhere from like one to three hours to make just one video. And that's not counting the rendering time, which might take another three hours. So not that I don't mind it. It's just, it is a, it is a major sink. That's why I don't do like an episode daily, for example. I have to save it for the weekend because I have to basically pre-record these ahead of time so I can, you know, prepare for, for recording these things. Because remembering like what enemy uh, builds are and everything like that. So and even then, I'm not doing a min max perfectly. So I said, so if I really wanted to, I could min max this game like to a, a ridiculous degree. But I don't want to ruin the fun of the game that badly. Like I said, if I wanted to do that, I'd, hit, I'd put ninjas in every group and stuff like that. Uh, people with a bunch of attacks. And we're taking a bunch of damage though. Should be fine though. Because I said Lanza's stats are decent. I could have been getting lucky with his stat growth, maybe. Um, I've just, I, from what I read, his, his stat growth overall isn't that great. Uh, that's why a lot of people put him low around the totem pole of specialty characters. But yeah, luckily with the healer in the group, we can survive these attacks. Yeah, these guys were low-level fighters too at the at one point. Yeah, if you can build people from level one, they're the best uh, best character you can do that with because they they have the more opportune. Because the the way and this has been figured out before is that people have compared like a level one fighter that got to level ten and a fighter you got at level or a knight at level ten, and uh, or a fighter that you had at like level one built up to a knight and then got to level ten and a level ten fighter you got randomly from like I, I, I Ash or something like that, and the stats aren't even the same. Like you, they have like the level ten guy had like less HP. You know, less strength, stuff like that. Because the the overall average that the game gives you when uh, when putting them in their troop is uh, is on the low scale. The only problem with doing that is he I basically bumped him into a, a lance. Uh, apparently not close enough though. Interesting enough. Uh, I was hoping to, I was hoping to actually get to the town before for a final tribute before. Uh, uh, before uh, tri uh, before the tribute day or whatever, but we'll see what happens. See if I can get there fast enough. I was about to say now will the uh, will the dragon get fireball off before but hit the healer before that, but no. Oh come on! There we go. Yeah, Lance is pretty high level now. I think he's level 10 or 11 or something like that, so. Ooh, got an HP. That raised your HP by a bit. I think it's like 10 or something. Actually, let me look it up. I always forget, like, some of them aren't always the same in terms of, like, what they, uh, what they, uh, add. So, let me, sorry. HP pot. Uh, it looks like it's kind of random. Um. So what it is is it raises their a a HP by their stat, uh, what their average stat gain would be when they gain a level. So it depends on their class. So you might want to use it on an enemy that gets really good HP stat gains. Um, anyway, what's our level ten? Yeah. Oh, but we've got max charisma and alignment though. <clears throat> let's see, how are we doing on? Oh yeah, I could raise you to shaman now. So let's do that. Yep. Yeah, because you hit level uh, level ten. So uh, for shamans, uh, or sorry for clerics, yeah, they need to be shaman. They need to be level ten, have a charisma of sixty, an alignment of sixty and a hundred. 
then for knights, um, I to get them to paladins, it's it's a while. I have to get to level 15 to do that. So that's the final uh, levels for a lot of guys. Uh, let's see. Uh, I think I could probably move you guys. I mean, you're not going to get there in time, so it doesn't really matter, but I'll move you anyway, so. Yeah, the giant, uh, the giant team build didn't do too bad. Uh, not perfect, though. I'd probably, have to, I'd probably rework the, the rework it before. Uh, before sticking with it again, so. I've always never been that good at, like, really perfecting uh, enemy formation, or group formations, if that makes sense. Oh yeah, and it helps that my alignment's been going up because I've been fighting mainly low alignment enemies, too. That also helps. And I wasn't super more powerful than him. Bye. And yeah, having a bunch of muses in the group as your backup backup magic users are really good too. They're actually a really good class, the muse, muse or sorry, Valkyrie, and then they turn into muses. So if you want a good like um, combat, uh, whoa, that was a weird glitch. All right, but why would you stop, cannabis? Oh, that was weird, huh? Oh nope, dang it. I'm losing out of precious time. Must get to town and capture it so we can get the tribute. I want to at least get the tribute before we fight the boss. Um. Oh, well, let's see. Who needs the levels? You might need it. Yeah, we'll give it to you. Let's have you chase after him and fetch him off. Oh, no. They're going back. Dang it. No. All right, fine. Now I'll stick you here. Let's stick uh, Gilbert um, over here to heal. All right, they're gonna resurrect their guys and come back. They'll be back and twice as ugly. All right, come on, come on, cannabis. You got high, you got high movement. Make it. All right. Oh, right, I had too many cards. Dang it. Eh, strength went up. Eh, crap. Uh, Devil only is really super good against, um, uh, uh, holy units. According to legends, the souls of warriors killed in battle gather here in Avalon. They are said to stay to protect the forces of good from those of evil. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just have someone ready to like attack him on the back, so that way if they lose, I'm like ready to uh, jump at them and ping pong ball back back and forth between each other. Oh, I probably should have had uh, lands up in the front. Oh well. He's probably lost his, uh, because I think these guys are nine, I believe, but. But yeah, if you don't want to min-max this game, this game isn't that, like I said, it's not, you don't super have to do that. It's just, you might, you, it's easier, if you're trying to go for the best ending, you want to do this just because, you know, it's harder to deal with reputation gains and lowers. But if you want to play this the first time and don't care about the ending, then go nuts with, like, party combinations and see how, see how you do. And see like what your play style ends up being. Like I said, this isn't really even the way I'm playing it isn't really a yeah. mid-maxed playthrough, not really. You know. Like it's an okay build, but it's not like perfect. At least comparatively, so. Probably not gonna be able to finish him off. I don't think I'm gonna do enough damage. Yeah. I might have to try and see if I can get him to, like, I hit him before he goes back to town. If I go straight up without... Yeah, okay, there we go. 
Yeah, sometimes the enemy, depending on how they go, they'll be stunned for a second because their AI will try to figure out what it wants to do. Does it want to go back to town, or does it want to like to resurrect its guys, or does it want to keep going? I couldn't tell you what like what changes the AI script to, to figure out one or the other. Back up so I can give. Where are these guys again? Okay, ten. So that hasn't been losing me. Uh, alignment with, with Lance. Yeah, see. Man, look at this. I mean, like I said, the stat growth isn't great, but come on, look at the numbers, guys. I need to get you more lower alignment, Gilbert, so I can actually, like, like turn you into a ninja. Because I want to turn you into a ninja master, is my plan. Okay, let's see. Okay, he's going down. I think he was chasing after Reprieve for a second. And then decided to go after Gilbert for some reason. Okay. And as soon as the tribute goes, I'll, I'll head straight to Garrus. Yeah, for some reason he raised his guys back from the dead, but he didn't decide to he uh, didn't decide to stay in town long enough to heal himself. Oh yeah, it's low, it's high alignment. So yeah, at noon because my alignment their alignment's so low, the uh, their stats are affected quite a bit. That's why they're not uh, hitting as often as they would. Gilbert's level is still medium, or alignment still middle of the road, so this doesn't affect him uh, that badly at all. Oh, whoops. Mm. Yeah, because it's just going to kick him. Well, if I don't kill anyone, it won't. he won't. He'll still charge after us, so we'll see what happens, though. I, mean, I don't have to finish him off. I mean, as long as I finish the boss, I was just trying to kind of get a general good amount of, uh, of experience, you know what I mean? Might be the end of the. If I lose any of my guys, I'll have to stop using them for. Oh wow! Got really lucky there. Oh wow! They spaced out their attacks just enough to where it didn't finish off any of my guys. That's awesome. Unfortunately, I need to head back to town. Oh, right. <laughs> I forgot there's buried treasure there. We got an ice sword. Alright, let me look up that really quick. That went wrong, wrong screen. I was looking at the... I was looking at my item, or my uh, enemy map or whatever. I believe it's the ice blade. I could be wrong though. I'll have to double check. If it's the ice blade, it's the, it, there. Are, either way, it's a cold elemental. If it's an ice blade, it's plus seven attack. If it's the scimitar, it's plus three attack or strength. I mean, eh, not bad, I guess. I mean, uh, technically, um, uh, technically, ice is actually the worst element in the game overall, in my personal opinion, but. In terms of how many uses it actually has, you know. Yeah, we got quite a bit of tribute, so nice. Okay, yeah, we can fight the boss now. I was thinking about getting the uh, the uh, um, well, I could have Lance fight him, I guess. He's just got so much le so many levels at this point. Yeah, let's have Lance do it. So, all right. And then we'll have Aisha go after after Garrus. I can I can get the uh, uh, buried treasure later. I don't want to stay in the map longer than I need to, and I don't want it to be nighttime because Garrus is low alignment, so he does better at night. So after this guy's finished, we'll uh, charge on in. So ah, that, that 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 fire really hurts the cleric, even though clerics are more uh, weak against. Uh, um, ice. Yeah, we're getting to that point. We're starting to get some pretty good, uh, pretty good builds overall. So, uh, all right, let's do this. 
We'll see if I'll be able to uh, finish him off in uh, one turn or not. He's pretty powerful. I might not be able to. We'll see what happens, though. Yeah, if a Gilbert gets to the buried treasure, great. If not, I'll get next episode. I am Aisha, the daughter of the Grand Monk Forest. Not only have you destroyed the peace of this continent, but you've killed my mother. I must have revenge. You have killed... Uh, my name is Inigo Montoya. You've killed my father. Prepare to die. Yeah, pretty much so. <laughs> Sorry, I was looking at my notes here. So, <laughs> You little brat like you against me. Very well. I'll show you well how weak your gods are. All right, fight against, uh, oops, um, Garrus himself. Yeah, Garrus is really powerful. So Garrus has a, a ability called the Evil Dead Attack, which does 60 damage to every unit in your group. So it, it hurts like a, you know. Um, he also has two black cards, uh, black cards, black dragons surrounding him, which do, which uh, the one in the back will shoot acid at you, which is really nasty. So, and then the front, the front will do two attacks each, which can do a lot. This guy hurts a lot. So... One way to get rid of them is use the full card to get rid of get rid of his dragons. These cards are so awesome against bosses because they just get rid of their extra units. All right. Oh, there's Starlight. Yeah, it does a decent amount of damage to him because he's uh, dark elemental, so or black or whatever you want to call it in this game. So, uh, if you don't want that card, if you don't want his attack to do any damage, use a world card because that and nullifies magic effects. So you could completely uh, null, null that attack, so. But, nope, let's see what Evil, De Evil Dead does. Yeah. Dead by dawn! Dead by dawn! But anyway. Yeah, so agility isn't super high, but. I might use another card just to uh, do a little bit more damage to him. If you have justice cards, yeah, see, twice. Remember, her, her thing said she only goes by, she only attacks once. But because of the princess's lead, uh, now you have to be a leader to do that. If you're not a leader, you don't get, you don't get that, um, you don't get the two attacks. So keep that in mind too. So, how could you possibly defeat me? How could I lose? It's impossible. I'm a mortal. Just wait. I'll send you all to. To where? Thus, Garrus is defeated. Yeah, Jink and Chunks have changed there, too. All right. And thus, the uh, thus the Black Knight, uh, the Prince himself, has been defeated. Wow, that's a that's a major that's a major hit to the uh, major hit to the forces of evil. But that's good for us, which means that that means we are considered. A major threat if we weren't before but perhaps it's time to take a bit of a vacation do we want to do you all like surf and turf do you all want to go out to the caribbean we'll find out what happens next time in the next episode of ogre bell the march of the black queen thanks for watching hope you enjoyed and i'll see you next time